Hey, what's everybody and uh, welcome back for another video. All right, so we're just gonna jump right into it. I will be giving you guys my top five tips to traveling abroad when you're studying abroad. <laughs> and what I mean by this is when you are studying abroad in one country and you travel abroad to another country for the weekend. Tip number one that I have for you guys is to have a good pair of comfortable shoes and a refillable water bottle. And the reason for this is because since you're gonna be traveling, that probably means that you're gonna be walking around everywhere. For example, when I was in Paris, I probably walked around like 20 miles in one day. And at the end of the day, I was just dead beat tired and I just did not wanna do anything, but you know, you you're also gonna want a refillable water bottle because you're gonna be walking a lot, which means you're probably gonna get dehydrated and you gotta stay hydrated when you're traveling, guys. You just freaking have to because if not it's gonna ruin your whole trip and you, then you then you might get sick and you don't want to do that any of that so just take a good pair of shoes and a refillable water bottle and you're good just solid all right because most cities will have uh, water stations where you can just fill up your water bottle for free and that way you don't have to like keep on buying a new water bottle every time and it saves the environment because you don't have to be buying plastic and saves your wallet because you ain't got to be buying a water bottle every time so boom, there you go, tip number one right there, all right? So, and tip number two is to travel around with a trolley and a small backpack. And you wanna make sure that your trolley is uh, small enough to fit on a plane as a carry-on. That way you don't have to pay to check it in. And you also wanna make sure your trolley has wheels because if not, you're gonna be stuck having to carry it. You also wanna avoid having a duffel bag because duffel bags you gotta carry on your shoulder and they, they're horrible. They're, they will hurt your shoulder. You'll be sore by the time you, you get to your destination. And it's just, it's just bad news. Like they're really horrible when you're trying to pack stuff in there. It's bad. So I don't, I do not recommend a duffel bag because trust me, I've done it before and it's horrible. I 100% I recommend just having your trolley. So much easier, just roll around everywhere and it fits in your, as a carry on in the cabin in, the, in an airplane. And it's just so much easier. So you got you just make sure you have a trolley because it'll save your life. Tip number three, this is more really of a money saver kind of tip, but you should really try to take night coaches or night trains in order to save some money. Their trains and buses are usually cheaper than flights. And the reason you want why you want to get a night bus or a night train is because then you don't have to worry about uh, having to pay for a night of accommodation because uh, you're already going to be on the bus or you're already going to be on the train and that way you don't have to pay an extra night to, to stay somewhere essentially. I did this plenty of times, you know, I would always make sure uh, I would check out and then uh, just take a night bus to my next destination and it's really easy. And this tip really helps you on saving time because then you could just sleep on the train or bus and uh, you will get your and you will get to your destination in the morning, which means you will have more time at your destination. So it'll, it'll it works. So all in all, it's a pretty good tip. Tip number four, it's also a money saving tip. You should try to buy your uh, pre drink alcohol and your breakfast, lunch, and dinner at a supermarket. This way, you don't have to be having to buy uh, lunch, dinner at a restaurant every single day, and also. Uh, drinks at a bars and clubs can also be pretty pricey at times so it, it'll help your wallet in the long run but don't get me wrong you also want to try new foods so definitely at least try to go what once a day to a restaurant to try to try the local cuisine All right and the last tip I have for you guys is hostels and Airbnbs all the way homie the cool thing about hostels is that if you're traveling solo or maybe with another friend it's really cool to meet other people from different parts of the world and sometimes you meet really cool people and then you end up spending the day together with them exploring the city because they're, tra they're travelers just like you you know you, you might end up going out with them to the nightclub you know just having fun with them and it's really nice and the really cool thing about airbnb is that you could get really sick flats in the middle of the city for really cheap and it's even cheaper if you have a big group of people that way you guys can split it all up and it'll be very it'll be very cheap for everybody and it's just badass. All right, you guys, so that's gonna conclude this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you guys made it to the end. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, give a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next video. Thanks, bye.